Alright guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are going to learn how we can style React components using CSS modules. So we are going to use the CSS modules just because we want to make sure that we can style each one of our components without interfering with other ones. So we're going to limit the scope of each component to itself without interfering with any other components. And I'm going to show you now an example about that. So in here, I got a complete new installation of a new React app. So I just use the commands npx create React app. And inside of my app.js, I just put in here two small components. One is this one in here, the header. The other one is the content. And these two components, you can see it in here now on the browser. So on the right side of your screen, you see in here the header component, which says in here main title and has in here a button just says buy now, for example. And then we got this one, the content, which is this one in here. So there is some style in here in our page at the moment. And whenever we want to apply a style that should be available everywhere, for example, we should put it in here in this index.css. So if I go inside of this index.css, first of all, I created in here now a class of container and I created in here a class of card. So the class of container is make sure that our content in here is just like centered on the page. And then I have in here this class of card, which basically is for each one of these components. I'm passing the class of card, which is making this uh, background white, this kind of border radius and so on. Now, if I want to start styling in individually each one of these components, like the header, like this one of the content, is a common practice for people to just go and just create a CSS file for each one of those components. So we have in here our header. So this is our header that we got in here with a class name of card and we got a H1 and a button. But here is the thing, look, we got in here a class of BTN for this button in here. This is for the header. So is this part in here on the top. So if I wanna apply some style to it, I'm gonna create another CSS file just for this component. And I could put whatever I want in here. So I'm gonna put, for example, the class of BTN. I'm gonna pass in here that I want this button to be with a background color of orange. So I'm gonna put in here background color of orange. I'm gonna give it some padding, maybe like 10 pixels top and bottom, 20 pixels left and right. And I think that's it for now. I'm just gonna put in here cursor, maybe cursor, pointer, and just some border to be none. All right, I'm passing in here this. So this class, I'm passing it to my header.css. Then on my header.css, I would import it on the top. And as you can see, this button in here has now this kind of color and whatever we put. But here is the problem with this, using this kind of way of styling your components, which is, if you had another component like this one of our content.js and this component in here also has this kind of class, for example, the BTN. Now, if I go inside of my content.css, let's say I wanna put in here this BTN as well. And this one, I wanna put a background color of, uh, for example, royal blue. Okay, so I created this class and this kind of styling for the BTN for the content.css. I'm going to import that on the top. And as you guys can see, it's not working. This is because both of these content.js and these header.js, they are using the same class. So maybe if I wanted, I could create some different classes. So like one, one class for one button with a different color and so on. But the thing with CSS modules is that will allow us to create some stylings that we can apply just for this component without interfering with other ones. So let me show you how you could actually do that. In your header.css, okay, 
we are going to just like rename this file to, let's just go in here. I'm going to leave the same name, so Heather, and then I'm going to put in here dot module and then dot CSS. Okay, so I'm renaming this for Heather dot module dot CSS. Now, now that we actually change the name of this file in our Heather dot JS, instead of importing the CSS, just like we did before, I'm going to do, I need to give it a name. I'm going to call it Heather CSS. You could give it any name that you want. I'm just going to call it header.css. So import header from uh, header CSS from header CSS. Now, this class of BTN, you are not going to use it exactly like that. You're going to use like this. You're going to put some curly braces and inside of this button class, you're going to put the name of your CSS file, which is this one. So it means that you will only apply classes or any other styles that exist inside of this CSS file, our header.module.css. At the moment, in this file, we only have this kind of styling for this class of BTN. So going back to our header.js, I'm going to put in here class name of headercss.btn, which is the class that we were looking for. Okay. Let me just, um, ah, so in here on the top, import header CSS from, and obviously our name of the file just changed. So I'm going to put in here module.css. Let's refresh. And there it is. Look, our header in here on the top now has a button with these styles that we have in our header.css. Okay, perfect. Let's just apply now the same thing in here in our content.js. So in our content.js, we also have a class name of button, the exact same name, but like I said, we can create a CSS file that will only style things in here in this component. So in this content.css, let's just change the name of this. So .module.css. What I want to do in here in this button, just to make it a bit different, we gave it a different um, background color. Let's give it, for example, a border of two pixels, solid and black. Okay, I'm going to put in here maybe the color of the text is going to be white. And I'm just going to give some padding. Maybe this button is going to be bigger than the other one, just to make sure that we can make some distinct distinction. So 20 pixels top and bottom, 40 pixels left and right. Okay, now that we created this class in this file content.module.css, in the content.js, let's import this in here on the top. Like I said, guys, give it whatever name you want. I'm going to give it content CSS from, and now the name of the file is content.module.css. Let's import First of all, the name of the file, whenever we want to use uh, any classes or whatever that are in that file, let's go in here. Let's put first of all, the name of the file, which is this one, content.css. And then we want to go inside of it and put in here this class of BTN. Okay, so if I refresh the page, as you guys can see now, we have two classes which are exactly the same but BTN for the content, BTN in here for the header, but because we are using the CSS modules, each one of those styles will only apply, is going to be like um, only restricted to that scope. And I'm going to show you in here when I'm going to open in here my inspect. Let me just increase the size of this so you guys can see. I'm going to click in here on this button. And if you guys look, now, the class that is in this button is header and then btn and then some sort of in here like a couple of strings like mk8 whatever. And if I'm going to go in here, you can see that is applying for this button a class of content, btn and then some random string in here as well. So this is the way that actually CSS modules is making it unique so your styles, they don't conflict. 
All right, so uh, there's other ways as well to style React components. There are other ones, like for example, the style components and so on. Uh, I'll probably do another um, tutorial on that, uh, maybe in the next video. So I hope that you guys found these useful. I know that a couple of people, especially some of my students, they didn't know about this and I think this could be useful for their projects and so on. Um, so that's it guys, thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.